Every Dollar App Review 2024 Best Budgeting App. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you and mentioning about Every Dollar. So, I've been on Every Dollar for my own personal budget for several months now and it has saved me tons and tons of money like several thousand dollars already and can probably do the same thing for you so please do make sure to fully watch this video so i give you a concept of how you're going to do this and uh, obviously to start things off this may come as a shock to you but until recently i had a bit of a relaxed approach to my budget and by that i mean i didn't really have a budget basically you know so but after digging through the incredibly unhealthy spending habits i realized I was about to give my money a plan and after using a ton of budgeting apps, the one and only in the final that I landed on was every dollar. Okay, so I'm going to take you inside my own budget in a second and walk you through each of, you know, the menus. But as the name suggests, the whole concept here is giving every single dollar a purpose which is known as zero based budgeting and this is a budgeting strategy that many of every dollar's competitors also use and a budgeting approach that i follow effectively i want to clear that this doesn't mean that you have zero dollars at the end of the month it means uh, that you know you're not intentionally setting money aside for your food and friends and other essential expenses but you're also intentionally setting money aside for your savings okay for your mortgage your emergency fund your investments and that sort of thing all right so we can talk about those features all day but the best way is to show you so if we hop inside every dollar you can see that currently we are on my december 2023 budget which i have and i can reset this to show you how it all starts from the beginning so you can obviously alternatively reset everything to see what yours will look like and when it comes to resetting i can simply come here wait i can go to november and look at that that's what the resetted budget looks like it's going to look like this for you and uh, obviously at the top of your screen mostly you can see your income your givings your savings bills and subscriptions and spendings okay so everyone before the month begins you can see a pre-made template that you will use as a foundation where every dollar will then learn, okay? It will learn your regular income and recurring expenses and will roll those over month to month. So it will get much faster to do your budget after inputting the info or the info that you add for the first time. Now, the purpose of today's video is not to be a tutorial. So if you'd like to see that, uh, please do check out my channel for other videos. But on this exactly what i'm going to show you is how i do my budget and how this exactly helps me so what you're going to do is add all of your income in the first menu over here okay so you're going to start adding all your income so let's say my planned income is uh, for example seven thousand dollars okay now the received is uh, obviously going to work uh differently i'm gonna go ahead and add twenty four hundred dollars over here all right now, once we add this, you have all these things. And so, you know, how much givings you have, how much savings you have, housing, transportation, food, personal lifestyle, health, and all. So the goal now is just to take the total plan income that you just input. And as accurately as you can divide it up across all these categories until the number at the top of the screen equals to zero. Again, if you want to see a full tutorial on how I do this, let me know down in the comments below. But if you scroll down to the savings section, okay right here and that you know it's a great feature it's the funding feature we'll use a car savings fund as an example for large saving goals so i'm going to click on add item and uh, you know i can just write uh, car okay and once you do that you can write in your actual car saving fund you know whatever saving you want let's say i need to make thirty thousand okay let's go with thirty thousand right now i want thirty thousand for my car savings and obviously, this could be a literal goal for you, you know, a goal that you want to reach in a short amount of time and, you know, a goal that helps you understand your expenses better and just gives you a good general idea of your usage. OK, then moving on, obviously, the recurring bills that you get, you could add those in your basic budget over here as well. And obviously, as you can see, every dollar also tells you the second you go over budget or under budget. OK. As I was saying, every dollar 
tells you if you're going over budget or under budget. It gives you all the details. So that's the general idea of, uh, you know, it all. Now, after that, the newest features of, uh, you know, every dollar are pretty good as well. So we move on to the spend tab. OK, so your spend tab is more like your paycheck planning tab where you can actually get your paycheck planners. Now, this is a premium tab. But, you know, it's basically to know when it's safe to spend throughout the month, which is your spending tab. And it's easy to understand the charts and it's based on the known transactions. Now, speaking of transactions, if we click on the spend tab at, uh, you know, the left side of the screen, it shows you all your spendings. Now, the reason it's a premium plan is because the spend tab is directly connected with your bank account. Now, any spending that you do will be copied off from your bank account and showed in the every dollar app where every dollar is going to be, you know, creating sectionings of it, you know, giving itself a clear idea of how your spending goes, of how, you know, you spend your money in different ways and a whole lot more. So uh, basically, it gives you a pretty general idea of uh, how you're going to work with the basic budgeting. Then moving on from the spends tab, you have your goals tab. Now, this is obviously like the savings tab, you know, what you're saving for, what your goals are for and a whole lot more. So, you know, uh, just keep your savings and goals in mind before getting into this tab. And the best part about all this is that you can add these goals in a way where every budget and uh, every financial statement that you take or every financial step that you take, every dollar will let you know if that is the right step for your saving and your personal goals or not. Again, you can keep a certain time frame in which you want to reach those goals that you've set in your personal goals section. It's all pretty simple and it gives us a pretty good idea of how we're going to work with, the, you know, the actual budgeting stuff in our application. So, yeah, uh, that gives us the general idea of how we're going to work with all these budgeting apps. And, uh, you know, it's great for free money management. It's absolutely free. It takes no money from you. Obviously, if you want the upper features in the premium section, in that case, you will need to pay. But, you know, obviously, you know, you get more features and for more features, you know, you can expect more money right so once we've gotten the concept of that that's pretty much about it so those are all the features of every dollar and how you're going to use this absolutely incredible financially budgeted app and how you're going to save money using just an application now if you enjoyed this video please do make sure to drop down a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future please let me know down in the comments below and i'll will be making a whole lot more for you but uh, that's pretty much about it and uh, i hope you watched it till the end if you did please do make sure to drop down a comment to give me feedback on how the video was and that's pretty much about it so thank you for watching all the way till the end i hope you all have an incredible day goodbye